Hey everybody, welcome back, Ali here. Um, today I'm gonna show you all how I use the UAD SSL channel strip on lead vocals. Um, it's a plugin I use frequently um, to emulate this beautiful big SSL board when I'm not inside a major studio. So this is a record by Malik Moses, an uh, artist from Baltimore. Um, I'm gonna scan through his lead vocal to kind of listen to it and find a vibe for what we're looking for. What's going on, what's on for me? You got a habit of saying you don't want none for me. Get in the man and playing all on your phone with me. So this can't be all on me when you be all on me, ayy. So just off of first listen, uh, I instantly felt like the vocals, they sit in a decent pocket, but they could just be a little bit more present. So what I'm gonna use the UAD SSL channel strip on is to bring presence to the vocal, bring a little more top end brightness and shine to the vocal. Um, and again, just overall presence to sit that vocal on top of the mix a little bit. Too old for the games, but you steady play. You figured that a nigga won't skate with no ice on bezel face, but... So as you all can see, we boosted around a half dB at around 8K, and we turned the, we activated the bell to kind of give that top end a little more shine, a little more brightness. Uh, we didn't do much. We left the, we left the, the, the high mids alone. Also, as you can see, uh, I cut around 2 dB at around 300. Uh, sometimes, if you're trying to achieve brightness in a vocal, um, a good way to do that without boosting the top end and making it extra harsh is by cutting some of the low mid or cutting some of the lows just so you get the sonic perception of a brighter vocal. You know, naturally, when you take lows out of something, it's gonna accentuate the top end or whatever is the brighter section. Uh, so we did that there. And, you know, obviously I felt that it was a little bit too much. So we went back on the lows and we added about a dB at around, uh, at around 320. So after I felt like I had processed the vocal in a nice way using the channel strip, um, I would then, you know, decide if I wanted to add some compression or not. Um, you know, I talk about compression all the time saying, you know, only add it when necessary. Uh, it's easy to ruin a vocal mix by over compressing something and you lose all your transients. You just kind of distort it. So, you know, the good thing about this plugin is you have the control to insert the compressor directly on the plugin right here after you've done your, your EQ processing. Now, usually when I work on compressing vocals, I usually set the ratio at around two, two to one or three to one or somewhere in between just to be able to grab the vocal nicely. And then I'll move over to threshold. Uh, the threshold, I will kind of just get all the way up to negative 20 to see the floor kind of be compressed in the middle so I can find that nice balance in the compressor that I'm looking for. Getting the man and playing all on your phone with me So this can't be all on me When you be all on me, ayy Too old for the games, but you steady play Figured that a nigga won't skate with no ice on bezel face, but So after I felt like I have a nice setting on the threshold I will go down to the release knob And I will start, um, you know, scanning the release knob To find a nice setting for the release What's going on? What's on for me? You got a habit of saying you don't want none for me Get in the man and playing all on your phone with me. So this can't be all on me when you be all on me, ayy. Too old for the games, but you steady play. Figured that a nigga won't skate with no ice on bezel face, but... So that is how I use the UAD SSL channel strip. Um, you know, there's so many different ways to really use and utilize this tool. Um, I suggest if you're not comfortable or familiar with it just yet, open it up. You know, start turning on the inserts for EQs and inserts for compressors and just start turning the knobs, you know. Start understanding what the knobs do uh, and how they can work inside your mix. And before you know it, this will be a weapon for you like it is for me.